Hello, welcome to D&D. It's time for dragons. It's been two weeks because bullshit happens. Whoa! Don't you love bullshit? <laughs> but yes, it is, uh, it's time. We got it. Pog. Gah. But yes, we can start right up. Let's uh, go down to... I must click speed. <laughs> Whoa, it's the wrong one. I love it when it captures the wrong screen, don't you? <laughs> All right, but yes, uh, we can uh, unmute. I am streaming, I am jiving. Uh, I just realized I use cyberpunk, not uh, not your own. Hang on. You're so old, Whoa, Rose. I did it. Oh. I did it. <laughs> You're not <laughs> cyberpunk anymore. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh. Mm. There's uh one second, there we go. Mm. Alright. Uh I can give the cool recap as everyone does that token stuff. Uh so uh in last session after uh well I can start from basically your session one so you'll get a reminder. So, after arriving, uh, for whatever reason, to, uh, arrive within the council, the Chromatic Council, you managed to, uh, basically speak to them as they gave you the task of going to the Fallen Continent, the lands where dragons don't die, Lamau. <clears throat> Upon, basically, uh, being told you must go rescue their leader. Whoa. Uh, the Chromatic Council's, uh, Chancellor, basically. Uh, you were given an image of him. He just has black hair. That, that's pretty easy. Oh, oh god, look, he's right here. Whoa. Whoa, he's got black hair. Oh, <laughs> oh my god. You did it, guys. <laughs> you did it, guys. Okay, come and finish. Bye bye. <laughs> Credits roll. Uh, after being given a ship, because you were told that basically, uh, <clears throat> well, the Fallen Lands is surrounded by what seems to be a wind barrier of powerful magic. Uh, not allowing people to fly through, and you need basically special means. Uh, you were basically given a uh, flying ship by a Captain Iwaro. And, uh... <laughs> upon flying through, you eventually then reached a, uh... Uh, the city. Whoa. Uh, within the Fallen Lands. You've never heard of this before. <laughs> ah, fuck are we? <laughs> yes. So, uh, that's where you find yourselves here, as, uh, Tierden just goes into a coma. <laughs> then... Oh, bo -bo. No, he... he, uh, decides to go non-verbal and just turns into a wolf. Whoa. You got the dog. <laughs> you got the when dog all, in him. When all things, when all <laughs> things fail, become furry. Yes. So, uh, you may do what you want to RP, don't RP, and instead just leave VC without telling me, uh, <laughs> whoa. <laughs> right, that's kind, of a, that's kind of a sick idea. Whoa. Yeah. Yeah. Whoa, just what, what, what's with my mouse moving by itself? <laughs> whoa. Oh, no, oh. No. <laughs> Oh, looking button. Yeah, I'm just explaining <laughs> the scene to everyone, and suddenly everyone leaves because I can't hear the Discord leave noise. So it's like I'm just like sitting in the VC alone, explaining the room. And I'm like, damn, everyone, roll for initiative, and no one responds. And that's when I realized none of you have been real in the first place. Your <laughs> <laughs> voices, your skins well, are running the whole time. Don't worry, you'll see it next year on April Fools. <laughs> I'm rolling. I'm running a solo session next year. It's only me. <laughs> oh yes. Uh, Iwaro basically just gestures to the building and, and the area around, spreading out her arms, just going, "And welcome to the city. This place is um, well, it's one of the last bastions uh, called Leilin." Against the Fallen. I see. I was born uh, here. I don't think we asked that, but that's good to know. 
Yeah, yeah bitch, we don't care. Good. Um, well, I believe before um, you explore the city and such, you must speak with um, uh, Janmin Magnus. What? Uh, the the Jamin Magnus. He's the well, he's the Jamin of the town. Where is he? Where where are they? Oh well, come along then. They like gesture to follow as they just open up the doors to here. Oh, uh, okay. were you she just guy sit it down. <clears throat> Whoa! Oh, fuck, I forgot. I forgot the accent. Wait. <clears throat> <laughs> oh, blah blah blah. Uh, Iwaro basically just sits in the back. She like puts her legs up on this chair. <laughs> Slightly <laughs> to the front. To the front. <laughs> Leans forwards as you basically see Magnus here, who uh, who just simply sort of like looks over you all, uh, and just looks at the man standing in the doorway. Sit. Damn, he fucking left. <laughs> what is he doing? He doesn't like <sighs> being ordered around. I hope you'll, you'll learn this again. Well, if he will not take the explanation, then there's no it. I was told by the council that you are all here to go into the Fallen Lands. Yes, we are. Ah, uh, well, I am, of course, Jamin of this town, the leader of it. I am the one who governs those who can enter through the door to the Fallen or not. And before the council can give me any orders, I have a request of you all before you can enter. As long as you can help me, I'll open the doors to you. What is it that you need? Ah. Some folks down south of the town, they've decided to make camp there against my direct orders. They too, much like yourselves, have come from the outside of the wall, and they seem to be making a ruckus. I've told them that they cannot enter the city nor the gateway, but they continue to annoy my guardsmen. So, I ask of you to make him leave. Hmm. Looks to the others. What do y'all think? Um, this entire time, Ruben has been like kind of mulling over their book as they, as she looks up and just goes, uh, Um, does it have to be? Forceful, or can we kind of do it verbally? I do not care for your methods. You can kill them if you want, however, I don't want the council to be annoying me about it. You can, of course, bribe them, blackmail them, do whatever you want. I just need them out of town. You see, there are entirely lack of men here due to them entering the Fallen just recently. So our defenses have been pretty low. I see. Do we know where did they come from? Well, specifically? All I know is that they come from the outside of the wall, and those who are, of course, from the outside do not belong here. Yourselves are an exception, of course, since the council had given you permission. Though those ones are more of just people looking for an adventure, would be my guess. As for their reasoning, they won't give me any. Nor should you really ask. Just simply deal with them. I shall, of course, supply you with my top guardsmen, our Khan. Mm. He is, well, he will be at the south gate, as he resides there as his own 
personal space. As for, of course, any lodgings and such, the captain here uh, can guide you to your lodge if you should want to go there first. Oh, dude. Understood. Well, then. I do not care for your names, but, well, if you would like to introduce yourselves, I would appreciate it. So I'd know at least who enters. So I can at least write to your family in case something should happen. Everyone uh, just looks at least who in the front. I'm stealing something. <laughs> some, this, he just deserves nothing. I think he gets coal for Christmas. That's what I think. Fuck society. I'm just hear that from the outside. Yes! <laughs> Again, it's a uh, 300 I... feet loud boom. <laughs> Shadow was it money, gang. <laughs> you. Uh, I need to do some macro. Ugh. Oh. Oh. Uh. Vivace will just say, I'm Vivace. Just call me Viva. Hmm. Alright. Looks towards... here. Oh, hi. Um, I'm Fia Nola, or Fia. Fia's easier. Mm. Looks at that quiet one. Uh, I, 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 I'm Bruvin. Mm. Looks towards the furry as the furry responds with Eden. Well, uh, <laughs> looks towards the doorway as, uh, I won't ask for his name since he isn't someone who listens. Lick my taint. My name Poker is Mike Oxlong. <laughs> That'll work. <laughs> well then, I appreciate the names. Now, well, do what you must as he like flicks his hand. He nods, stands up, and starts walking away. <laughs> oh, my footrest. That's the dog as they leave. <laughs> oh, and finally, if you are in need of asking me services or stuff, past the camp where the mongrels are, there's a, well, my estate. My wife should be able to handle anything if you should have any questions. Okay. We got, thank you. Of course. She'll uh, close the door. Well, wait for your dog. <laughs> I'll, move, I'll move bulk and bark. And she closes the door. All right. Well, that's. Uh... That guy sucks. I'm probably going to rob, rob something in this town. This town. <laughs> he doesn't deserve it. I don't. I don't think that's necessarily hurting him that much if you're robbing someone random. No, I'm robbing him. I'll find out where he lives. Please don't. Eventually. Not right now. We have something to do. What's the job? I see. I have priorities. Uh, well, either way, we have to figure out a method. That we can go, we can all agree on. Four. So, the. How do you say a shaman? Hmm. How do you say the. His, like, title? Oh, uh, it's about this. Jeanmin. Jeanmin. Okay. Yes. The Jeanmin is requesting us to deal with the people that is well um that's what i mean 
Mm -hmm. The people that is seems to, that seems to be We're dispersing a crowd. Practically, yes. That now we don't know why they are there in the first place. At the very least, I would I personally would like to ask why. Where are the guards? Where did was was it north or south? South. <clears throat> south. They, they are to the south, apparently. Just the south? Somewhere the south. They're outside they're near the city, but not too far. Well then, um are you either going to your lodgings or are you going straight into work? We have lodgings. Yeah. Yes. But the council has supplied you with an entire mansion and a maid. Oh. Okay, so it looks like we're staying here for a while. Uh, I guess I can figure out where to store all my stolen stuff once I, like, rob the guy. Uh, where are please we going? Not... Well, I know that you're trying to rob something, but please do not say it out loud. <laughs> I want him we're to We're just know. do it at all. <laughs> we're robbing people! Hell yeah. <laughs> well, not people, plural, one person. <laughs> oh god, that does not work. Aw. Uh. <laughs> Jump <laughs> scare. That does not work. Um. Uh, I could also just explain your surroundings around. So, yes. Uh, ignore the mishmash, because I have to add multiple maps to the same thing in Clip Studio. But, um, so... Uh -oh. Basically, you're on a dock. There's like the boat that you came on. It's it's a, supposed to be bigger, but it's a boat. Uh, in the distance, you could see what seems to be a few islands with like rock formations on them and some weird like bird creatures. Uh, to the north, you could see a dockway with a woman on it who seems to be fishing and looking pretty sad. Uh, and southway, you could see what seems to be a bar. Do we actually know where our apparently our quote foot forward of base is? Or no? I can guide you. Well, that's my whole job here. Once oh, I'm done I thought you were just supposed to transport us. Well, yes, but then Magnus keeps throwing more and more work on me because he has no idea how to normally work like a commoner. I feel like you have done enough and you can go about your business. I don't think you want to be here longer than you have to anyway. If I can at least guide you to your home, and then of course I'm gonna go back home. Fine. We're neighbors. Neighbors. Uh, oh. Well, yeah. I guess if you're offering. Nice. Oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh, 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 She'll just give you a tour as you uh, also go across. Your gesture here. Uh, that is the church. Uh, usually purification rituals and all that go on. Uh, what kind of church? Hmm? Well, the church what where you uh, pray and usually get purified just in case you have any infections or anything or such. I'm assuming liked ones. Mm-hmm. Uh, never go next to that well, as, uh, she gestures to the well as you see two people, uh, as you basically see these two. Uh, one seems to be a woman sitting down on the actual well itself, and the other one's on his knees, uh, sort of, like, singing a serenade. Uh, as he's just like, yeah, and I'd never, um, just don't go near those people, they're a bit, um, love-struck. But love-struck for, like, the past, like, a hundred years. Mm. Um, I see. Mm hmm I got stuck one time, and they gave me, like, an entire conversation on how much they loved each other, and I was stuck for hours. Because just a walk. Calgarath, please. <laughs> Why? Cal um, <laughs> just walking. <laughs> Calgarath, as you approach. What are your names? But you just basically just hit... 
Oh, my dear love, my heart burns bright for such a mistress of fine beauty. May you be a shining star, even in the Among of Twilight. <laughs> she walk up. They just turn to look to you. Ah, oh, are you interested in how our love had a bloom like an eternal flame no. of the night? I just want your names. It seems like we're staying a while. I just came to introduce myself. Oh, I am Busin, and this is my darling woman, Delight. She hasn't moved since you first seen her. Does she, does she blink? No. <sighs> Maybe a perception check. <laughs> I feel like it's a sad thing. I feel like, I'm, I feel like she's <laughs> dipped on him a long time ago. I have a bad idea. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> Whoa! Why the fuck are you fucking a statue? What? That's a statue. The statue. Yeah. What is she dead or something? Where's the real one? No, no, like that's it's just a statue. Ah! You shall not speak of such room. She is not a statue. She is real. Me, I knock on her with the back of my knuckle. Is that stone? <laughs> it is in fact stone. <laughs> However, please make a dexterity save if a fist attempts to go across your face. Wait, let me make sure. Oh I haven't pulled up my fucking thing for a while. <laughs> I want to double check anything else I have. Just in case. Uh, I Damn. will put the dexterity in. No! <laughs> Alright, as you go up and hit her on the back of the head, you'll just hear a monster, as suddenly he makes a singular what seems to be weapon, breath weapon towards you. As you take 10 fire damage. <laughs> uh, reduce, because that's my type. Half. <laughs> Damn. As he basically mm. does like the fate where he interlocks mom. between her Damn. and you. Uh. Mm. Mm. Oh, I thought the fire would hit the fucking statue. <laughs> <laughs> Another flame dragon. Do not touch her. I'll be seeing you again later. Instead of singing charades, you might want to work on that breath. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> oh. Kieran's uh, uh, only guys, import. Lonely. Kieran's only input is. There you go. <laughs> so I have to wait. Hold on. Damage. Five. You see, he's lightly singed. You need to do our new HPs. <laughs> All right. Really? Yeah, you can roll. Yeah. Okay, well, the roll HP. Shit. Yes. <laughs> All right. So uh, we can do HP. I'll roll Tiedens. Uh, uh, the D, I think you already know at this point what the roll is, right? 1d10r5 or 6? 6. Uh, six. It's half plus 1. Okay, uh, so I'm supposed to be getting 3 fire five. right now. Nice. Uh, of fucking course I do. <laughs> uh, I rolled womp a 15. <laughs> 3 max rolls. Yeah. Hold on, I'm sorry. Yow. Slash 1D 10 R6 plus uh oh, I don't got that much. Let's see. Your constitution is free. Plus three. Eleven. Nice. Alright. Nice. Oh, bah, bah, bah. Hmm. All right, you can add your HP then. Uh, I'm gonna look at mine. Where is it? HP plus eleven. I get like the equivalent of I get like basically five spells <laughs> this level up. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I like, guess you're gonna have to take a lot of house RP time. <laughs> get... Well, no, I'm almost done adding them. It's just I get two from second levels from second level spells. I get two from my item, and I get one from my dragon stuff. Bug. Options, people, options. 
I'm still working on the new. I'm trying to figure out. My... Oh, there oh, it is. Good. HP. What is this? What did you do to this token? Mm -hmm. Nothing. Not you. <laughs> He's just... uh, what? I could just add HP's... the eleven to your HP. You have. Uh, no, I was looking at the records. <clears throat> I'm go. looking at properties. It just looks funky. Property. It's the fucking thing. Same as everyone else's. Like, I can't change how the properties look. <laughs> there you go. I changed. Is HP I at the bottom? It. No, that's I death marks. No, no it's I updated top. your token. I did it for it's you, Apex. Apex. That's fine. I I need to learn. There you go. You have 33 HP. <laughs> I think I should have a 28. Oh, yeah, I have to egg. Oh, I was in it, uh, so I probably didn't save. Yes. Uh, you rolled a 10, so you had 28 HP. Blech. Okay, let me check this macro. It works! Uh, oh. Let's fucking go. Well then, uh, let's carry on. Uh, Bex shall basically gesture up to uh, this building up here. Uh, uh, bah, bah, bah. Uh, where you see it's a giant, like, watchtower, however, half of it is split open down into what seems to be a deep, deep hole. That is tragic. Uh, <clears throat> there seems to be a person basically standing on top, keeping watch, but she just sort of gestures to him and just goes, Well, this was the old, um, watchtower before, um, the sky fell, and now it's mostly just blocked off, since, well, What do you mean the sky down. fell? Oh, um, well... About a year or two ago, um, let's just say that, um, somehow the Fallen had broke through the barrier, came here, and, uh, basically caused a lot of destruction. A lot of people died, and a lot ran away. That's why this town is a lot of desolate. God. Mm. One of the byproducts, though, of course, is this sort of blackish craters around the place that can't seem to be, well... No matter how much we try to fill them, there seem to be no bottom. And anyone who goes down never returns. Ooh. So usually, yes, they're blocked off. Mm. Alright. Oh, destruction buildings. Doesn't really matter. Uh, down that way to the, uh, to the east. Uh, gestures. If you follow that road down there, eventually you'll reach the, um, little tiny village. It's where all the animals and stuff are grown. It's really cute and adorable. They taste delicious, too. Yeah. She'll go up to here. Uh, she'll gesture to this building and go, uh, this is a workshop, mm, the shop, uh, if you're in need of any goods or something. Uh, the worker there, Hanel, will, uh, hook you up. Uh, so if you need in need of anything, they can, of course, sell. And they have a cutie little familiar with them. Nods. Oh, oh, oh. Wait, this one, right? Yes. It's, uh, you see that it's called, uh, Hanel and Pippia Shop. But wasted goods. I like this. There you go. Spell like that. Oh, bu -bu -bu -bu. And eventually she'll just go here. I'll just move it across. Oh, bu -bu -bu. <clears throat> <laughs> I teleport through the walls. <laughs> Yes, just T poses, faces through, as she basically gestures to this place and just goes, And this, of course, is your lodgings, your manor. You may, of course, live here, set it on fire, burn it, you know, the usual, if you would like. Um, but yes, do whatever you want with it. It was abandoned and used to be owned by... Um... I assume you a serial killer. But yes... I see. Oh, what? Oh, yes. Uh, this place used to be um, owned by, well, serial killer before we caught him and 
executed him, but uh, now his uh, real estate. Nobody wants to live here, so of course it's all yours. May, may we have... Oh. May we... Uh, actually... Hmm. Maybe I shouldn't ask. Where's the key? <laughs> oh, the, the maid has... Hang Walks over, knocks on the door. Uh, as it's locked. Bang, as, bang, uh, bang, bang, bang. Bang, 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 bang. The door open. As you basically see, uh, this person. As they sort of, like, look over you and just go, Yes, how can I help you? Well, these this are the electors. <laughs> hey, you shouldn't say that about that. That's rude. But yes, uh, these are your new lodgings. Uh, key, please. Of course. Adds the key, who then hands it to Fear. Oh, bah, bah, bah. Oh. Deja vu. <laughs> yeah. I have not experienced it at all. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa, a key to a lodge in safe space? <laughs> Whoa. <clears throat> yeah, do you get a long rest? Uh, I believe you got a short rest. Oh, okay. Yes. Uh, uh, she'll just then just go. Well then, yes, uh, have fun at your lodgings. Uh, if you're in need of me, uh, my building is right there. Two gestures to this one. I see. Yes. Which one? And of, and of course, um, well, as I mentioned, that whole serial killer thing as she's like whispering as the mage is watching. Uh, yeah, this, uh, this maid was also the same maid for the serial killer and she's a bit I was gonna ask that, subject. did she belong the, uh, to the old guy you said was a serial killer? I mean, it doesn't matter to me. A house is a house. Ah. She's a bit touchy on the subject, but yes. Take care. See you around. Uh, thank Ooh. you for all you did. Yay. You. What's your name? To say, apparently, you'll be staying with us. Oh, hello. I am Gimmel. I will be your maid. Until you decide to leave this place forever. I mean, uh, probably. I mean, we die, we leave this place forever. I mean, yeah. Come in. It would be rude if you were out there in the cold. Reverend looks, <laughs> it looks in having cold resistance. Is it cold? <laughs> I don't think it's no. cold. <laughs> She's weird. It, it's like, uh, the environment at this place is like, uh, the Caribbean, it's like hot. It's like a port side town. Well, city. Yes, welcome, welcome. The bathing area, of course, is uh, just around the corner, and storage, if you're looking to store your outdoor items and clothing, is right there. Nods. Is there any questions? How many rooms are there? We gotta see if who's bunking with who, or has everybody got their own personal space? There are five rooms in total, but one of them is the master bedroom. I'm taking that one. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I... alright. Uh, well, would you like to see your rooms, then? Nods. Ladies first. Oh, bah, 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 bah. <clears throat> Your first gesture to basically hear and just say, Well, that is, of course, the common area where, of course, you can sit about, read, wait, whatever you want. Uh, the bathroom is there along with the washing area. The gate, then, of course, the first room is simply known as the Rose Room. Uh, as she gestures to this door. That is the Rose Accommodation. Ah. Uh, then, there is the Gravel Accommodation. Gestures to here. Ah. Get off my screen! <coughs> Damn. Fast. Gravel Accommodation, Rose Accommodation. Hop, 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 hop. Goes down. 
gestures to this one. This door here is to the master bedroom, also known as, of course, <clears throat> as the metallic room. Pretty metal. Whoa. Just just to hear. This is, of course, the snow accommodation. And the final bedroom is uh, the one further up, uh, just through the common area and to your left. Uh, that is known as the Ash Room. You may decide where you would like it to... Get off my screen! You may decide to... Uh, where to I think this. I think this mate has a bit of a schizophrenia. <laughs> no, it's the fucking. It's it's the other monitor, the Lucius one. It keeps showing up on my screen. <laughs> <laughs> so yes, you may decide where you would like to reside within. As for me and my lodgings, you do not have to worry. I do not sleep. Inside. Mm. All right. Fuck. Whoa, good rolls today. We've got a natural, like a two and like a four now. <laughs> Fuck. Uh, the most that you can find with her body language, she's tired. <laughs> uh, with Does she seem a, like a dragon? <clears throat> uh, she doesn't have any a draconic dragonborn. features nor any like magic is around her. Uh, Riven mm. with a 23. Uh, she. Her movements aren't exactly, let's say, human. As what you've basically been seeing from her moving around so far, it's like her like limbs and stuff seem to be very stiff. It's almost like a pattern. Uh, like, let's say, for example, her leg moves like 10 centimeters, but then every single time her leg moves, it's the exact same 10 centimeters. It's like, there's no like difference. Uh, we're going to just keep that to herself for now. <laughs> yes, I do not need to sleep. I am a magon created by my previous master. I see. Yeah. She nods. What is a magon? <laughs> uh, history check. History. I don't know what that is. Oh, damn. A deep development. <laughs> uh, so, uh, it was a DC 15, so Raven and Vivica, uh, you of course would, uh, somewhat know. Uh, for Raven, you've basically seen it in the Arcane University, well, for Viva, uh, you've seen them actually quite around, uh, schools and such as basically cleaners or janitors. Uh, it's a high-level form of magical constructs. Uh, specifically, um, <clears throat> how they are made is that they are committed into a one-hour ritual spell that uses the caster's blood, uh, permanently uh, leaving a scar onto the caster's body, but in turn, they make a life, like actual sentience, known as a magan. Oh. Uh, a magan, uh, for Riven, would only know, though, is since the Arcane University doesn't use Magans for this specific reason, if the Master should die, a Magan becomes free, meaning that they're capable of basically using their self fort without the need of being given commands anymore, uh, <clears throat> because they take on the soul of their previous Master. Uh, it's why in the Arcane University they're usually rejected as permanent servants because there's been mishaps where Magans creators have died and then they don't know what to do with the actual Magans because they become people. <coughs> Bo. Hmm. Also, yes, uh, this is quite literally what the spell does, by the way. Was equal to the Magus challenge rating. Only a wish spell can undo this. Okay. Yes, you um, permanently give up your life force. Hmm. We're going to kind of look up from the book as uh, she says. Um, 
if that's the case, then do you happen to know what happened to the, um, caster? Mm. My previous master was not such a kind person. They had committed many of atrocities within this land, and of course I was included into them. Aiding them, if that... Well, apologies if that seconds you. However, please know that I didn't exactly do it of my own free will, being commanded to do such things. After his execution, I was given this place to take care of. Since, well, I technically wasn't at fault. I see. However, I would not appreciate to speak of this matter. It is a touchy subject for me. I see. Well then. Do we all want to rest or... So the group. Damn, that bitch is crazy. <laughs> Well, I wouldn't say it's a bad idea. I see. Well, I guess we choose our own rooms then for the day. Um, you all can pick for yourselves first. Nods. Walking. <clears throat> Of course, within the morning, I shall have your breakfast ready. Oh, is it night right now? Uh, it's like, uh, dusk. Like, it's turning night. Oh. Thunders. Pugalicious. Walked mm. here. This is the ash bread. This ash room. <clears throat> um, I'll just do this. You know, ash grows gravel. A yeah, mm. There's books in this room over here. I'm assuming you will need those. And snow. Oh. Check it out, sure. I spelled metallic wrong, I called Melita. <laughs> metallic. Metallic, there you go. I don't give a fuck what this room is called, it's now called the, the Den. I don't like it. <laughs> Where? It's mine. <laughs> Where? Wait, is there actually a plate? Wait, is there a plate on the door? Or next to it? Uh, yeah, it's called the metallic call one. That? I'm taking the plate off. Oh. Okay. <laughs> it is now just called... Blank. Room. <laughs> <laughs> it's just called Room. room. <laughs> it's called Room. <laughs> Felix to Riven says, uh, well, I wouldn't rec uh, recommend this room back here uh, if you... She like like turns around and then looks to the door next to it. I think I know uh, what that is. <laughs> well, um, sure, we could be across from each other with the rows and gravel rooms. Yeah, let's do that. One. The dog chases the wall. I throw a guiding bolt at his head. <laughs> <laughs> the dog goes into the snow room then. <laughs> well, do I want to do normal colors or are we, we flipping? <laughs> colors? Fused, um, like oh. pink, red. She's. Play like all neutral tones. I mean, that's brown, that's green. This was just ash. <laughs> uh, I know she's saying that's a good... brown, white, black, gray, red. <laughs> I 
I think the um, the rose coloring would fit you quite well. Okay. So, uh, then uh, turn the knob and say, uh, <laughs> well, I hope you're able to settle down. If not, I'm around. So, you know, just say something. I hope so. Also, does Fia still have the bag of your holding? <laughs> uh, yes. Probably. Okay. <laughs> the Hello Kitty backpack. Bruh. <laughs> I'll try to make a setup in my room. Really. Opens. Oh, Except oh, the statue. No. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, that means you're gonna be hearing a fucking the suit talk through the wall. Uh yeah, you see you see basically just a statue of a random uh woman, like draconic woman with her like in a prayer in motion. You see like blood leaking from her eyes. <laughs> Slowly and she's the closest to her. <laughs> Just starts to Bro. What a fuck that day. It, it like <laughs> like it's a fountain underneath where like the blood drips into. <laughs> Uh, as I can basically explain each room, so like, uh, Kalgaroff, for you, it seems to be like a study room, along with basically, uh, two, like a double bed. Uh, Are these Tartarus tools? <laughs> <clears throat> some weird tools, yeah. Um, like, pliers, and a knife, and more pliers. They're not bloody, though. Uh... <clears throat> As for uh, Thea, your room is basically just full of, like, books and tales and stuff, uh, along with basically the bed and uh, seems to look a more, more, more comfier than all the other rooms that you've seen. Uh, <clears throat> and uh, Vivka, as you open your door to look into yours, it seems to be some sort of, like, a schematic room where you basically see, like, a bunch of old designs laid across the sides on this desk along with a bunch of uh, wine bottles. What type of designs are they? Uh, make me a intelligent saving throw to see if you understand them. The uh, walls are beautiful today. <clears throat> you you sort of look over the designs, and one of them looks like a chair. Another one looks like a weird sort of like dragon, but like another dragon. You're not you're not really sure. Can't really make a look of it. It's a mishmash of like design skeleton. Viva will open her guitar case and say oh. to the person inside, "What do you think? What do you think of this?" I would enjoy the wine if I still had body. Hmm, that is true. <laughs> Then I shall what does enjoy the dog for room look like? I shall enjoy it for you. <laughs> oh. Oh, right. And uh, Tierdens. Uh, Tierdens is basically what seems to be a blacksmith like room. Uh, where basically there's weaponry and all that basically all been forged across the sides. And uh, <clears throat> there's even like a miniature like forge here. Oh. Damn, news are like really picking up. Rooms. <laughs> Damn, you wanted the master bedroom, so you got the master bedroom. It's because I know I'm big. I need space. <laughs> Damn. So yes, each of you got your rooms. Poor Riven during the night will basically just be hearing this. In here, she <laughs> <laughs> You just hear that. Fucking. <laughs> you won't be also... sleeping anytime soon. <laughs> <laughs> At 3 a.m. One, one night, we're just going to hear tear the fucking Iron Man uh, one movie sound effects from Tyrion's room. 
Kalgaroff, I believe, is like used to it at this point and just slip through it. <laughs> and so, all fucking. All Riven can hear from the other side is just that. And the next thing all you hear is just. <laughs> Riven is used to her nice dormitory in the arcane university, not this shit. Whoa. You're in a frat house now, get used to it. What's uh, the book like over here? Mm, the book will read the books. Oh. He's learning. <laughs> Alright. Is uh, one of you arresting up a bug? A bubba. Viva will take the chance to open a wine, drink a. Drink on a glass before sleeping. Wine mom. Uh, wine mom. Make that con save to see how drunk you are. Dude. Surely, <laughs> surely as a dragon I have advantage. That's what it was happening with Kafir, right? Uh, That's because they're a monk. <clears throat> Lamel. Uh, sure. If you roll a natural cool. one, you get addicted. Damn. <laughs> Thirteen again. <laughs> <laughs> All right, yeah, it's a DC ten wine. Like it's a pretty standard one. Uh, you don't really get drunk nor like hungover or anything. It's just like a bit ooh tasty. Actually, I got vodka. Mm. I could go get my vodka. <laughs> no. no. <laughs> okay. Not run. Uh, silvery parts. Vodka. <laughs> silvery parts. Me when I silvery barbers myself. Whoa. I think that works. Uh, you, well, technically, you are a creature that makes an ability check. Oh, I meant you. I mean, giving I'm giving something <laughs> bandied away. Oh, never mind. oh no, you can give yourself this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, as uh, all of you do a good old rest, eat up, then going to bed, relaxing. Uh, it's the first night, so it's a bit uncomfortable to sleep in an unknown bed, but uh, oh, well, eventually sleep overtakes you. As I will roll 8d100s because you don't have a choice because it's a new place. <laughs> one, two, three. Uh, one, one. one. Good old memories one, yeah. of d100s. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. Let's go. <laughs> Holy shit, that's Whoa. a bomb. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. I remember when winter used to roll, but then reality shifted. We don't roll anymore. <laughs> <laughs> we don't roll anymore after the incident. Yes. All right. One second. Does it get my thing? Where the fuck is my event staple? Man. Uh, do, 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 do. So we got a 12. Fuck. Huh. <laughs> All right. Uh, that's not an event that will affect you all. It will happen to you. Do, 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 do. One second. Okay. One. Why do people always keep doing this one? God damn it. Okay. As, uh, as the night continues on, and eventually, though, uh, something sort of stirs. Specifically for, uh, Vivis. Viva. Uh, Viva. as you yes, as you seem to be resting within your bed, suddenly something seems to awaken you, as you basically feel somewhat of, like, basically a pat against you, as it seems to, of course, be your husband, as they seem to be patting against your arm. He... What you call it? Wait, padding? <laughs> like, basically, like the fucking guitar is ding ding. <laughs> like, kidding. <me>. Okay. <laughs> Looks at the guitar. Huh. Strong. Uh, <clears throat> as you sort of look over, the guitar just simply just responds back with the, uh, I do not wish to alarm you, dear. However, 
someone seems to be in front of our door. They're trying to somewhat listen in right now. I'm not sure if they're trying to listen to you sleep or anything of the sort. I see. She stands up, thinking whether or not she should alarm the others. Realizes one of them is Calgraph. Ah. Mm. <laughs> uh, yeah? Yes. Gets grabbed husband. Whoa. And then opens the door. Whoa. Looks through the window. I, uh, looks as through you, the window. It's specifically when you open the door. Uh, oh. There's something there in front of it. Not, not that front door, like your bedroom door. <laughs> oh, here. Yeah. Yes. As, uh... Just walked away. <laughs> Where are you? <laughs> as as you basically open the door, you see something is attempted to basically open the knob of your door on the other side as you see that it begins to clatter before you open it. Uh, looks under the door. Uh, all you see is a light, but you don't see any feet. A light? Yes. Something seems to be producing an orange light. What is it? The door stopped shaking. Opens door. Oh. As you do, you see this. A fairy. <laughs> as they sort, of, <laughs> they sort of like shaking their hand, looking really nervous and just go, Uh, uh, hi. Uh, did it, did it be to, um, did it be to do anything like that? Um, uh, can you go back to sleep? Are you the Tooth Fairy? How do you know? I mean, it isn't like a knowledge, like a <laughs> normal knowledge thing of like everybody knows the Tooth Fairy. <laughs> yes, the Tooth Fairy comes in your I sleep mean, and steals your teeth. Steals. I mean, it's rather normal. Yeah. Uh, well, um, if if you go back to sleep, I. I'll do it really, really quick. I'll steal. I'll just take one of your teeth. I swear I'll give you gold back. Looks to the guitar. What do you think? <laughs> I would much prefer my wife to have all of her teeth and not stolen by some fae. I'm sorry. I cannot give you teeth. Oh shucks. Well, uh, all right. Uh, she like deflates. <laughs> She's like, ah, oh, my boss is gonna like shout at me now. Uh, Be sure. Yeah, I prefer gold then. I I give the gold. She has like a huge like mm. sack by her side. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, I do have uh, Alter Self, right? <laughs> yes. Ah, uh, you're not. It, 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 I'll, give, it's, I'll give you it, the I'll give you the benefit of the doubt. She, uh, she covers her mouth and then like tries to take off one of it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you you <laughs> make me that Constitution saving for. <laughs> Oh. 13. Oh, 13. <laughs> How many 13s have I been? Happy was on 13 count. <laughs> Do we actually have one? Okay. <laughs> All right. As uh, as you basically pull on your teeth, you make the DC 14 as you sort of uh, you tug on it, and it's a bit painful until eventually you hear like a snap as you manage to pull off your teeth, and she sort of goes, ah. Oh. Oh, you didn't have to pull it out so barbarically. What do you mean I covered my mouth? Anyway, uh, alter self starts to grow by itself again. <laughs> uh, okay. She like reaches out and puts her hands together. Puts the teeth on the. She takes the hand. A... Whoa. What's your name? Uh, my my name. Indeed. Here. 
How do you spell that? Fear. My name is Fever. No, what? Nice to meet you. Thank you for it. And of course, you reward. She like reaches into a bag and gives you a single gold coin. Dead. Thank you. Yeah, it's all right. Now I gotta do my other job. As she will start like flying away. It, which is. I still gotta go collect teeth. Yeah. Okay. Up, 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 up. Close the door. Oh. <laughs> anyway, thanks, Tiedon. <laughs> I wrote Tiedon next. He's the other nine. <laughs> I'm gonna just tell him next time if I remember. As Congratulations, you met the fairy. <laughs> we didn't kill it. Yay. Uh, <laughs> I mean, yeah, it, it was tiny. You could have just reached out your hand, crushed it in your hand, and, you know, that's the end of that. <laughs> then you get the bag of gold. <laughs> Whoa. But do I get one gold? Yeah, they gave you one uh, gold piece. Ah, fucking damn it. That's a low roll. Indeed. It is a low roll for my 1v100. Oh. <laughs> Tiernan. Tiernan's already had an event. I'm rolling it again. There we go. Fear. Fear. <laughs> Alright. Oh. Go. As the night continues on, eventually within... Basically, as dawn rises on the final hour. Uh, fear. As a, as you basically seem to wake up in the morning, uh, you find that there seems to be something uh, quite unusual by the fact that on the back of your hand there seems to be what seems to be uh, the Roman numeral for twelve. <laughs> Damn it! No, <laughs> not thirteen. <laughs> as the Roman numeral for uh, twelve seems to be on the back of your hand. That. It seems to somewhat be etched in what seems to be blood. She like slowly wakes up and is just like blinking. And <laughs> immediately mm, she will also this is after the long rest, right? Yes. So you can all click here along with this one. Yeah. Uh no funny. She'll stare at it for a while and ritual cast detect magic. Whoa. As uh, as you cast detect magic to attempt to detect the magic of it, uh, <clears throat> you do find that it in fact does have some sort of magic link to it. Uh, one second. <laughs> I hit that from myself. Oop. Oh. Okay. Uh, as the magic that you find is, do, 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 let me go to my thing here. Uh, roll me a d31. Okay. All right. One second. Oh. I mean, that's pretty good. Holy shit. Uh, okay. You find that it's abjuration. Huh. Would Fia understand the meaning behind the twelve? Uh, you <laughs> can you can attempt an arcana or religion, your choice. Both of arcana which is intelligence, I'm just realizing. But mm -hmm. yes. <laughs> Magic. I will use religion because it makes more sense but oh, the total <laughs> Whoa. I rolled 12 on the 12 you gotta give it to me now <laughs> well I mean it was a DC 12 so sure oh. <laughs> alright one second let me get it so <clears throat> uh, with the religious basically connotations of this uh, you find that it does seem to be linked specifically to the hanged man uh, one of the gods of the moons. <clears throat> uh, it's usually related to that 
of basically feelings of not being fulfilled and somewhat not being happy with your current life. Uh, <clears throat> though the actual symbology itself seems to not be too related to the god, but it seems to be his magic in general sort of affected you. As you find, of course, with your religion, that it seems to be somewhat relinked to uh, divine div domains. Basically, domain spell. Mm. Oh. Uh, basically, uh, you didn't roll really high enough to tell what the spell is, but once for a long rest, you can cast the spell from, uh, from this sort of tattoo. Okay. <laughs> she just kind of stares at this for longer, and then just says outwardly to the air, uh, Thanks, whoever did this. <laughs> oh, it has a casting time of one minute. Oh. Surely this can be wild. Hey. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's also non-concentration. Oh. Virtual weapon. <laughs> Whoa, I can't believe it. It's Mordecai and Sword. <laughs> <You're out. laughs> My god, you can do 3D10 as a bonus act. Let's go. Most it's concentration. <laughs> it's awful. <laughs> so yes. Uh you can't really tell the spell. You could if you uh your next long rest, you can attempt to recheck to see what the spell is, or you could just have someone else who's magically inclined be able to tell you. Okay. But yes, congratulations, uh, you will awaken. Mm. Congratulations. You have a tattoo. Well. Mm hmm. Uh, all of you basically just hear what seems to be the bell as it awakens you of just, uh, I don't have a cow wow noise. Then, oh, you did. Uh, bell. I have a bow, but like, that's like a fucking ominous, uh, plague bell. Hang on, how about this one? No, that's not it. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently, the first result for cowbow is not a cowbow. Whoa. <laughs> but yes, you hear ding, 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 dinner time, breakfast time. Hmm. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. You find, uh, you find Gimel, basically, uh, Setting out food on the table. Good morning. Oh, hello. Good morning. Good day. Oh. What is for breakfast? No, uh, it's just a simple thing since I haven't gone shopping in a while. Uh, it's soup with um, melon. I see. Uh, melon did. soup. Hello. Hello. Uh, Kogaroff, you you just get awoken by the guy just going, Wake the fuck up, I'm hungry! <laughs> you don't eat. Yes, I do! Give me breakfast, I need yummy! That's not how this works, you're already dead. <laughs> you don't move, I'll move you. <laughs> He's gonna stiffen himself. Where? <laughs> Why do you and Riven? Uh, Riven is too busy reading uh, over her spells, <laughs> realizing that there's new spells in there for some reason. <laughs> oh. You used to have a sleep walk, you sleep right. No, you just, uh, your spell book just goes. I have acquired some new spells as you were resting. 
I had simply taken them from the record. Oh, but that's, um, that's a nice feature. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Had no problems. Uh, Woke up with this, though. <laughs> she shows some blood. <laughs> <laughs> is, but Whoa. I'm sure that is not ominous whatsoever. <laughs> it doesn't just like... Oh. Says it in a matter of fact. It just says, I'm just looked at the tattoo. <laughs> what is it exactly? Uh, I think it's related to one of the moon gods. She like really it's... not confidently smile. <laughs> it's like this. <laughs> My fucking god. Oh, Guys, I'm, yeah. I'm feeling like I'm changing a bit. <laughs> <laughs> no fear. Why did you consume the old blood? <laughs> Sometimes yeah. you just gotta know, man. Oh, I got there to drink it. Wait, where is it? Yeah, I can. Oh. I'll put it into my channel. Oh, that's what I thought it was. I'm gonna try inspecting the top. Oh, no. Of what it is. You, you can attempt to make an arcana or a religion, but yeah, it's not that specifically designed, but yeah, it's blood like that. Uh, <laughs> it's oh, blood. No, bro. It, it's like that sort of blood mark, but in this fucking 12 symbology. Oh, uh, let me see. Which one was I? Uh, Rope Merchant would like to know your location. Why? <laughs> Boogie's trying to get to the hangman. <laughs> Eleven. Oh. Uh, you two find, of course, that it's linked to the moon domain. However, you're not too sure what necessarily it does, just that it's able to cast a divine spell. I don't think it is. It's divine. Anyway, it doesn't seem to be affecting you much. I presume it's fine. Wait, say that again. Oh, she just says, uh, by the looks of it, it doesn't seem to be affecting you, so it should be fine. Yeah, no, I'm, I should be good. <laughs> she, like, looks oh, to it again. It's like, I mean, there's could be worse things show up on you after you wake up in a place you've never been in the middle of nowhere in really bad territory. <laughs> Smiles wide. That is true. Do you have I a died yes. Last night there was a... <laughs> what? Oh. Last night there was a good fairy that came to visit. Why did Pylon... Post the woke e woke ch emote immediately <laughs> as you did the bell. <laughs> <laughs> wow! <Well, laughs> you gonna wake up? Bro is triggered by that em by that fucking sound. <laughs> sound uh... uh, Viva ch Viva will just like uh, say. Speaking of night happenings, there was a. He's fairy that visited me. The truth fairy. Indeed. F.A. They, uh, well, asked for a tooth. Usually <laughs> they won't ask. Fia stops looking at you and looks over to Gimbal and says, uh, well, uh, Gimbal, is this, is this place cursed? <laughs> Is this... <laughs> well, I mean, this home does contain the many wicked souls and such of my mas previous master's murders, and that, of course, they should come out at night and, well, scream for mercy and so. <laughs> Just kidding. I don't, I don't think that has anything to do with the teeth fairy. Oh, I was just joking, no. 
Uh, this, this place was cleansed by, well, the priestess herself, the one that lives at the church. This, there shouldn't be any curses onto this place or anything. Looks around if there's any curses. <laughs> There are two wolves inside of you. Let's see if investigation can give me anything. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa. Oh my god. <laughs> 16. Whoa. Your non curse yeah. sight. I don't think you're an exorcist. <laughs> I am a bard. <laughs> uh, you look around the room. Seems pretty good. The wood's pretty chill. You see, like, Small and minor bloodstains in the wood of the ground, but like, seems to be cleared out. Oh, it doesn't seem to be cursed other than some bloodstains, but that's that, I guess. Indeed, no matter how much I clean, I can't get them out for some reason. Hmm. Are you sure that it's bloodstains? Well, I remember my master killing people in here, so yes. Oh, I see. She then continues to eat. <laughs> she turns and continues to read a book. Whoa. Mm. The melon soup is good. It gives you an inspiration. Let's go. Yum. Yes. DM inspiration, though? Yes. <laughs> oh. No, no, it gives you a player inspiration. Now I can reroll any of your rolls. <laughs> <laughs> oh. There we go. Yes. Alright, then. I guess we're just eating. Yum. Yes. I see you continue to eat your meals then. Ho -bo -bo. Cowgirl, Riven, are you just gonna be there the whole time too? I, I mean, not I eat it. They, they would notice that Riven still hasn't come out, especially <laughs> Fia. <laughs> I'm planking. <laughs> I'm planking. <laughs> He's hitting the sturdy. I'm so, <laughs> I'm so hungry, please! Can we have breakfast? You're, you're lying. No, I'm not. I'm getting hungry. <laughs> I'm gonna incite this. Please! <laughs> he is in desperation need. If he does not eat within the next 10 minutes, he's going to die and you're going to lose your armor permanently. <laughs> He's contemplating where this is a good chance to get rid of him. <laughs> I require a piece of juice. You didn't ask for juice. Oh, I smell melon. I need melon. We share this. Yes, <laughs> yes, it's 300 feet. <laughs> you can just hear from the other side always, Give me melon! <laughs> it's like that. <laughs> I think he's awake. Finally. Probably. Unless that guy's just gonna keep yelling. <laughs> yeah. Oh! Hey! Sleep well? I guess so. Ooh. The draconic hand, like, comes out of your back and just points at the bowl. Give me. Alright. <laughs> as, you sit, as you sit down, Gargaroth, you see that the hand just comes out, grabs the ball, and slams it into your chest. <laughs> oh. 
as you just hear, mm-hmm. ah, I am full. You is can it being have absorbed? Rest. No. <laughs> He's not you can have. It off. You can have the rest, Cal. Yeah. Basically, in the, basically in it off. <laughs> it's <just> dripping. <laughs> <clears throat> you see, my diet only consists of blood and melon. I see. Wait, actually, where does that guy live? I need to go see if I can rob him. I need to stake it out. What? Why do you... That asshole that by the docks. I know. But now? I mean, what else are we doing? We have to deal with, with the... I forgot the fucking word. The people that is in the borders of this <sighs> world. Fine. We are here for a greater mission than this. Yeah, yeah. What the fuck is the other one? Yeah, there are two actually. Hmm? Uh, are you speaking of. Ah, uh, there he goes. He's gonna try to open the door. Which one? This one? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he doesn't know where you are. Well, I guess. Yeah, be it, be it, and then lock it. <laughs> Smells like flowers in here. This shit stinks. <laughs> He's trying the knob. Yeah. Well, uh, while yeah. waiting, do you just start playing guitar? Right. It's locked, but uh, everyone was here and so. Uh, Pain. Uh, Pain. 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 Housekeeping! Housekeeping! You don't sound like the maid, but okay. <laughs> she, uh, get up uh, with the book. Cover. Unlock and open the door. <laughs> just look. Just one we have that peacekeeping job to do. Uh, yes. Um... <laughs> Look at the sad mind. <laughs> the room's creepy. Holy shit, that makes me thirsty. Speaking of thirsty, is there something to eat? I Apparently. remember hearing... Okay, if you don't mind me, um... The scurries on over. Can I make an athletics to spin it and face make it face toward the wall? No, it's not a- it's attached to the floor! I'm going to spin <laughs> the floor. <laughs> You are not going this to is not our property. <laughs> this is our property. <laughs> Unless, you're no, the big land. Unless you're gonna actively start attempting to break things. Hang on one second. What's your strep score? Let's take a look. Uh, twenty. It's like twenty. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Uh, you can attempt to make an athletics in DC twenty-five. If you uh, if you beat it. You can break the statue off the ground and rotate it. Man, <laughs> you can't say that. I don't want to do it. Fuck. I guess I'll try. It's funny. Why not? Mm. <laughs> Heavy <laughs> and ugly. Don't attempt to move it as it doesn't work around. Did you just hit your arm and just go, hey, 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 hey. He's gonna dip his finger in the blood and just write an L on it. On his shoulder. Just no. to spite the armor. Mmm, <laughs> delicious blood. 
Oh wait, this is a blood. <laughs> it's not. Yeah. I'm looking for a tarp. What the fuck's a tarp? <laughs> claw. <laughs> Big claw. <laughs> oh. That's not a top then. A sheet. Uh, this bed sheet, so yes. What is this? <laughs> oh, a bathroom. <laughs> no, it's not in there. Very called the rest adventures to find a cloth. Also, Riven, do you eat your soup? Oh yeah, Riven comes in. She sits down. She just goes, oh, "Good morning." <laughs> Good morning. Hello. You sleep well? Um, I tried my best, but um, Kalkaras armor is very, very loud. Indeed. How about you? Oh, uh, I was fine. Except, you know, I guess I've shown this off enough. <laughs> he just puts up her hand so that we can see the she... 12. And Slee Arcanas. <laughs> uh, do, 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 do. I have advantage on this. <laughs> uh, 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 uh. There you go. There Whoa. you go. <clears throat> Whoa, it's a divine star blessing. Wowza. Uh, Riven nearly <laughs> drops her bowl and she looks at it and she just goes, Where did you get that from? I just picked it up. <laughs> it happened. <laughs> uh, it can go into more detail as you've also read this in the Arcanium. It turns out having education is indeed beneficial. As uh, a... <laughs> Because what you find, of course, is uh, as you sort of look through and uh, attempt to basically go through your notes, aka the book, <laughs> you find, of course, uh, that in the Arcane University for it, that <clears throat> divine star blessings are given to people uh, randomly. Basically, gods of the stars, the moon gods, are very fickle, and well, <clears throat> when it is their night, as it was the form, uh, as it was the hangman last night. Uh, it seems that they have decided to give a net blessing to Fianna. A.K. I rolled a D100, rolled an exact 100, and then I reached a 20% chance with the D100. <laughs> uh, nice. Well, where uh, they actually bless uh, a person with, of course, a blessing. Uh, basically, they're capable of casting a uh, divine domain spell. Uh, <clears throat> once for long rest. Uh, your 25 can indeed uh, identify what spell they got given. Uh, as I will DM it to you, Eastern, and it will be entirely up to you how you explain this. Clear <laughs> <laughs> your swarm! I'm dead. Oh, oh, what's your meal? Let me turn in your is. bill for healing. To... Oh. Yes, baby. <laughs> Why did you say that? <laughs> Don't worry about it. People. It's fine. It's going to be. I think I know what it's going to be. But. Uh, <laughs> Riven. Ah. Uh, seeing that, we instantly start looking at her bow going for it. No, no, carry on. <laughs> yeah, she and she started flipping the pages in her book, going back to her notes about uh, star blessings. Look at that. Fucking uh, triangulate, which. Spell that would be <laughs> for a while. She just kind of starts staring at your hand, unblinking for a minute while holding her book. Uh, could I be scared? Um, <clears throat> um, I guess I should explain. Um, what you have on your hand is a divine star of blessing. Which was given by the moon god of the hanged man, 
which is now on your end, and it has given you the capability of casting a oh a very powerful spell. I think specifically on the seventh layer of spell casting. And if I'm correct, that, um, that spell is almost perfect for what we're going to be doing on this whole task. Um, well, Jesus there. <laughs> she. Uh, it's a seventh Just, level spell, but yeah. that's all we know. Let, let me give yeah. you an example. I rolled a three on a D31 and I go in alphabetical order. So it's the third one in alphabetical order. <laughs> well, a 31 spell. <laughs> oh. Uh, we don't know what, what 31 is. Uh, I'll just post it. <laughs> what? Oh, no, that's fine. I. Uh, here you go. <laughs> contamination. Uh, contamination is in, in this instance is the fallen infection. Ah. Oh. 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 Immunity. Well. Yeah. Hey. Oh, this is where got the fucking mutations. Yes. Hey, that's pretty good. Nice. Well, this is. Huh. <laughs> he just looks at her hand again. So, in short, you have very. Very powerful magic on your hand right now, and are basically div blessed by a god, essentially. Uh, and nothing bad's gonna happen, right? Here it looks, is something bad gonna happen? Ah, <laughs> uh... <clears throat> hmm. well. The bad something happened. Um, yeah. No. <laughs> uh, usually, those who are, uh, of course, uh, given the divine blessing from a deity, uh, from a god, uh, usually has a funny little thing about them, uh, where monsters tend to track them easier. Oh. <laughs> so, it is the, so it is the same curse. Uh, <laughs> Basically, creatures have advantage on perception checks against you. Bro. <laughs> Thea literally just sitting there, standing, <laughs> staring at the monsters because she's that... <laughs> like... <laughs> also, if you, yeah, really if, you, if you rolled a 25, you would have gotten Simulacrum once per long rest. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> More you would have been balling, baby. Uh, if you would have got a twenty, my own army. if you got a twenty, you could have got a resurrection. If you got a nineteen, you could have got a regenerate. <laughs> what the hell? How <laughs> suck on Kogar? I'll throw him into a battle and see how it comes out. <laughs> so yes, you could have revived Kalgrog's armor right then and there. <laughs> <laughs> you can't revive him immediately. Now you have uh, a big dragon you can run around with. Because one thing, it doesn't use any components. Oh, that's big. Okay. Yes. As long as you got the range of the cast in time, you don't. Uh, you don't need the components. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Riven would we'll look through her notes. Uh, her face kind of goes a little bit pale. <laughs> she uh, says, "Oh, that's so. Oh, I forgot about that one." Um. Apparently, monsters have an easier time finding you then. Wow. 
Uh, Fia's face just kind of like <laughs> she just it kind of like goes blank for a second, and she says, "Oh, that's that's not good." But um, because it's uh, specifically a spell that uh would uh help defend against the um fallen's uh infection, it it, it should even out. It, yeah, it should. It's just you're gonna deal with more fallen to begin with it, because of it. Griffin looks at her barely eaten soup. Uh, in her book. We should, we should, um, she get on that task that we asked to do, right? Uh, what was it to, um, move some people out? Well, uh, well, maybe, but I'm sure there's more to them than just they're here for absolutely zero reason and they nearly, like, it's, I don't know. Just sounds like he wasn't trying to hear them out. I think we can. I'm still looking for a tarp. <laughs> I'm checking the storeroom void. What are you looking for? A cloth. So I can put it over the ugly statue. Yes, you find a. You find some old torn like cloths. He dips his finger at it and tastes it since he said it wasn't blood last time. Please make me constitution saving throw us as you drink it. <laughs> All you hear from the guy from your armor is just, what the fuck, that's mercury! <laughs> <laughs> you managed yeah, to get man. someone... You managed to spit out some of the remains as you are indeed not poison. <laughs> Do I? Uh, can I make a survival check to see what I can use mercury for? Sure. <laughs> In a combative sense, damn it. Uh, with a There's 14 okay. survival, uh, it's used for like spell casting as a component. Uh, otherwise, it's just used as like a poison. <laughs> I'll take one vial of it. <laughs> you, have even, a... you even have a vial? <laughs> <laughs> you have a uh... water skin? <laughs> I have <laughs> You have some drink. <laughs> mm -hmm. I'm double checking what's in the explorer's pack. Oh. No. Nah, oh, damn. I thought it was a bottle. Never mind. That's fine. Uh, I'm gonna put the tarps over the ugly face. Yes. It has now been covered. I've done my job. My good. Uh, can I? Mm, is this gonna be like a sleight of hand check? <laughs> I wanna, I wanna make a new plate for the door. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you could carve it in and stuff. That'll be fine. Uh, slight hand will determine how well you write it into the metal. Where it's uh, legible or not. I can try my best. Alright. Damn it. <laughs> what do you write on it? This is brimstone. Okay. You uh, you managed to write this. There you go. Brimstone. Brimstone. <laughs> Do I know that's wrong? <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks not... perfect for you. Puts it on the door. You feel a bit of pride in your work. I prefer that to metallic. What? <laughs> Don't worry about it. I just had to fix some decorum. Levi's still just playing her music in the <laughs> background. Well. Well, um. 
I'm ready to yeah. keep moving if everyone else is. Yeah. Then the last shot. Shall we go then? Um, yes. Nods, stands up. <laughs> just looks while <I'm> sitting. <laughs> <laughs> he just looks back at you. Alright, come on, Bookworm. We got stuff to do. Sitting in this house won't help us. Uh, right. Uh, pick up her book and just start going. <laughs> You think it'd be funny if we, like, ripped that book up or something? No. Why would I care uh, about a book? Look, I have, like, difficulties telling when I'm bullying someone or when I'm trolling them. <laughs> I thought I'm starting to figure out why you died and nobody resurrected you. I died because I died in an amazing battle between your ancestor and me. And we smooched at the end. It was they, very cool. They didn't write anything about you. They don't remember me? No, <laughs> I've never heard of you before. <laughs> I'm gonna cast silence on myself. <laughs> you can cast magic? You see a dragon hand will uh, come out as it casts silence on the armor. You are now immune to thunder damage. <laughs> Let's go! <Fuck. laughs> <laughs> Damn. Shit, man. <laughs> <laughs> he's actually know. just spouting shit because he's like, <laughs> he, was, he was being an asshole earlier and he actually doesn't know because he just doesn't remember seeing any book related to him. Or that By game. the way, it's not last for 10 minutes, so like every 10 minutes, everyone will see a dragon hand come out, recast it, and then go back in. <laughs> he's so sad. <laughs> <laughs> we, we will look at the house and say, you know, we are leaving for now. Hopefully we'll be back. Damn. Of course. <laughs> uh, take care. I'll be sure to keep the place clean. Don't die. No, it's close the door. How fast did she just move? <laughs> as soon as they said the name, it was like me and Womp Womp just appeared. <laughs> He's gonna yes. squint as, at her as he closes the door. Me and Womp are doing while we're gone. <laughs> yeah. Uh, it's spoiler it's fine. channel. Oh, sure. oh, sure. Just getting stared no, no, spoiler, spoiler channel. Yeah. <laughs> That's all happened. Happened. <laughs> Whoa. Well, then, I Welcome. Guess we head towards the south. To the south we go. South and yeah, fuck this. Dimension door. You don't have that. No. So, boy, mm, I, I actually make have to make. Would I have to make a history check? Because he actually doesn't know. He doesn't fucking read anything unnecessary. Huh? Would there actually be vocal or written stories about a dragon hunt? Uh, no. Probably, what, like, 200 years? No. <laughs> Alright, I guess he's right. He just doesn't They know really him. didn't write about him. <laughs> That's crazy. They say, who are you? Who? <laughs> all, all you do is, like, your ancestors slew a great evil of the land of the Northern Hunters. Well, yeah, that's about it. Probably was just hunger. Whoa. So are there holes here too, or is it just yes. like just destruct like like deep holes like the? Uh, not as deep as the one in the middle, but they do go into like a small little crater. You can see that like, there's like a black eye core at the bottom of it, about ten feet. Careful. Mm. I think we still have to figure out a way to clean this. Fia, you would recognize the icor as fallen icor. Uh, don't touch any of that. No, 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 no. Stop, stop, stop. That that's gonna infect you. The fallen disease. <laughs> Can we burn it? It <laughs> stares in the camera at the DM. <laughs> <laughs> the camera stands back. Uh, um, <laughs> uh, let's not try. Yeah, how are we supposed to clean it? 
it, even if the cleric at the church hasn't. Oh wait, no. Uh, uh, Burning it makes it worse because it turns it into a liquid in rain. <laughs> yeah, that's what I was thinking to myself. It's like and that takes a long time. Okay, it has to evaporate, go back into the sky, then come down as rain. Fucking magic. And now it's widespread. <laughs> Yummers. Shut the fuck <laughs> up. Well, if that's the case, that means we just make a dome over it as it evaporates and collects onto the dome, and then seal the dome and throw it over it. <laughs> hey, I guess what? God, you're in... I imagine, man. <laughs> and guess what? You're in a dome right now. That's why the Fallen haven't got here. <laughs> Well, we could throw it out the dome. We take the dome and move it somewhere else. <laughs> we go to the dome. If we just fire all our trash into space, it won't cause any problems for us now. <laughs> yeah, basically. That's somebody else's problem, not mine. Holy shit. Whoa. <laughs> well, <sighs> burning it? No. I gotta figure out something else to do. I think uh, there's some god it's god killing bleach I've read about in some books. Moo. Why is it all red? <laughs> I'm uh, immediately inciting this cow. Moo. <laughs> no, not again. <laughs> Moo. <laughs> what, is it pimple? Moo. <laughs> Chicken pox. It, it, it I'm does slowly have some... reaching down to the brick on the, like taking a brick out of the road. <laughs> Oh my nah. God. <laughs> it, it does have pimples, yes. It looks uh it looks diseased. Boo. Gotta burn that one. Well, it's not our property. Who the fuck owns it? Drugs. <laughs> Don't we need to go knock knock like... knock knock knock? Uh, oh, uh, yeah, please. No one answers. I'm gonna get moving. <laughs> Run. We need to work. <laughs> and thus, we have created Ding Nong Ditch. Knock, 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 knock. The houses are abandoned. <laughs> I'm gonna you may burn tell. this fucking cow. You may tell it's been abandoned by the fact that the walls have been crushed. <laughs> As you walk to about That's here, you right. do see a person. Uh, basically, leaning against the wall, you see this person. Oh, fucking guiding bolt. <laughs> <laughs> That's definitely uh, not the name of somebody who is a betrayer. There you go. Up over. Why the fuck? Nice one. The yeah, did show. Oh. Oh, I never put the knife right there. Hang on. <laughs> Oh, blah, blah, blah. One sec. I forgot yeah. I gotta actually put down the library macro. Doesn't have to be visible. I can just throw it anywhere. Woo. Uh, okay, there we go. Yes, yes, there we go. This shall never be a problem again. <clears throat> this person. Well. Uh. What you notice, of I... course, is that they seem to be half dragon. Mm. Are you yes. Um, mm. Oh, the god. Yes, I am Khan. Magnus sent you, correct? Yes. We are here uh, to check. Yes, it's all about those outsiders that have entered the lands. Yes, they've been nothing but causing a ruckus for me, asking to enter into the city. However, of course, I have denied them. They've even tried to sneak into the middle of the night and uh, causing many problems. We don't need that too many backgrounds to point us so we can find them. We actually well, do need the backgrounds. Well, we'll fucking interrogate them when we find them. Please. Well, they aren't Relax. necessary. They aren't necessary that hard to find. After all, they are right there. As uh, he will gesture over towards the plains area and point here. Whoa. As he'll just go. 
They may camp outside the restrictions of the town and use them as their reason. As for the leader of the camp, they go by Emma. <laughs> Damn. Yes, the... <clears throat> please. I think that's more than 30 feet away. <laughs> oh. You're using your indoor voice. <laughs> <sighs> okay. Sorry. I shall keep guard at the front. However, if you want me to join you, just give me a shout. After all, I have to protect this place. Nods. Uh, from the side void, are half dragons and dragonborn are the same thing, or they're like their side side? Dragon like dragonborns exist when a human and a dragon have a child. That is a dragonborn. Uh, half dragons is when other races that because humans are blessed to give birth to any, uh, no matter what the race is. Um, but because half dragons exist, those are when other races mingle together. Ones that cannot usually give birth to something simply known as a hybrid. Uh, this person is half dragon, half elf. Elf? Yes. Okay. Yeah, it makes him feel weird. He walked away. <laughs> Does like looking at him. Oh. <clears throat> Box to fear. Just playing with the fuggy ball. <laughs> no, my fucking monitor is dying. What? <laughs> I spilled some uh, liquid on it a while ago. It, uh, the power button just randomly likes to shut off. Oh. I can see on the my second monitor, but I'll be existing. Oh, You see a guardsman standing outside the front of the camp, as I will make everyone now visible at the camp. Ominous figures. <laughs> oh. <clears throat> oh, what a nice bunch of people. <laughs> you, you, you are you a guard? Or are you one of the people I have to have been told about? <clears throat> he saw like places his sword into the ground to look over and just go. I am Cleric, guardsman to that, of course, Countess Error, Emma. What state your business here? Our business is to go talk to these adventurers who apparently came here. Have been causing trouble. Ah, so did the Count send you, the Shaman? Yes, we are yeah. here to check. To at least. What do you call it? To ascertain, to ascertain the the reason why y'all ask them why the fuck are they here? We are here yeah. for we are trying to enter into the lands of the fallen. However, I suppose that my mistress may indeed catch you up on the topic, since this seems to be an important matter. Come along. Oh, bah, bah, bah. He is one of them. I'm on this. So, uh, we'll yeah, stand next to this one. people here. <laughs> Whoa. Sitting on the barrel, you finally see the person. Whoa. As, yeah, shady. Right. As I do this. Yeah, there you go. You see a white haired, sort of white eyed, uh, sort of basically hiding her appearance dragon. Uh, as she sort of just looks over. Hello? Hello uh, there. Well then. Oh, yeah. I overheard your conversation. Jamin Magus had sent you, correct? Is he all about trying to kick me out from this place? Well, he is indeed. We are adventurers that we wish to know why you are here. Hmm. Well then, <clears throat> that is pretty this easy. 
I have been trying to contact Magnus for quite a while. However, he has decided to ignore every single one of our calls. And well... <clears throat> what they should know is that despite the Council not giving me permission, the Metallic Council is here on strict business to enter the Fallen Lands. I am Emma. Well, M.O. But yes... I, of course, have been sent by the Metallic Council as a form of, well, to find someone very important within the lands. Specifically, I'm looking for my brother. Oh. What may... Is there any... specific features of your said brother? Well, they, of course, would be pretty noticeable. Black hair. Of course, they are the Chancellor Bane Dragon. Hmm. Is the Metallic uh, Council really... Like, are they against the Chromatic? Uh, they're usually at, like, odd ends. Because it's like Democrats and Liberals and all that. Basically, like, they're, they're two different, uh, like, mm -hmm. political parties. House parties, okay, yeah. Yes. <laughs> Ah, okay. Oh, I got Whoa. politics. Um, politics. Woo. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um. Mm -hmm. All right. I see them. Yes, and Magnus has decided to ignore every single one of our calls. So, uh, either if you could do me a favor and either convince him to allow us through, otherwise my guards and all that will have to go through forcefully, since of course a chancellor's life is on the line, including my dear brothers. Lloyd is. Oh God, how do I, or how do I ask about this? Um. Ah. Uh... <laughs> uh... Ah. Politics. So, if I let let me roll, I guess an insight or just a history, actually, maybe to ask whether has has there been history of the metallic. What would happen if? Since we are representing the Chromatic Council, what would it mean for the Metallic to go to the to instead save the Chancellor instead of uh, us? Make me an intelligence saving throw. <laughs> oh, okay. Intelligent. Oh. <laughs> <I've seen> <laughs> Uh, it's basically an intelligence ability check, but same for the same thing. So, <clears throat> as you sort of take, well, try to think about it, really, uh, the most that you'll know is that if the Metallic Castle do save the Chromatic Leader, uh, they'll basically owe, like, he'll owe them a favor. Which is usually, like, basically, they can ask the Council, what, like, whatever they want. Hmm... Okay. That's one thing. The other is also, well, there's brothers and sisters as well. Uh, uh. Okay. Um, politics! <laughs> also, after this, I'll be closing. Uh, I'll be edited it there. Mm -hmm. uh, okay. yeah. <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe this one remembers you. Looks at the armor. You like my aunt? So they are related to you. I don't know, I never met them. <laughs> oh, is that Ravenfrost? An yeah. echo of it. Yes, my brother had told me about them having a son. We've never met. Well then, 
Nice to meet you. Nephew. Kill me. Get me the fuck out of here. Bludgeon the sword. In the first place. Take out your sword and bludgeon the head, please. Please do not. No. I have no reason to yet. We have other In quarry. Indeed, it would not be recommended. Uh, as he basically does that, all of you hear what seems to be uh, the sound of howls of wolves. As uh, as you see that uh, cleric will sort of get a worried look, and he says, "Not again." As uh, Are we getting attacked. As you turn around, you see these. Oh my up. god! It's normal oh, dialogue. You see wolves. <laughs> oh my you god! Wow! <laughs> you see wolves. <laughs> oh my god! It's normal enemies. <laughs> HD wolf. <laughs> Whoa, what do you mean? <laughs> it's a lot of times. I was trying to think you have or some bad. I get hit like the time I fought a normal 5 a enemy. <laughs> me, when, oh. me when you're level 3 and you're not fighting like God. <laughs> oh my God, it's normal enemies. That's how I'd search it here. That's a dwarf. Whoa. <coughs> All right. Yeah, me Fucking and, guys. And stream. Yeah. I hope you enjoyed today's session. It was a good bit of idea here.